situation. How did we have this happen? <laughs> can y'all come like, if y'all want to see me, come close as possible so I can interact with y'all or whatever. Y'all gotta forgive me, I'm a little sick, but we gonna make this shit happen. If y'all don't know, y'all just came here by accident, I go by the name of J. Cole. Rapper, producer. He said Jermaine, yeah, yeah. Jermaine Cole, motherfucker. Straight out of favorite North Carolina. To get y'all a little bit of my story, when I was 18, I was like, fuck, I'm gonna make this shit happen, I'm gonna make this music shit happen. I'm gonna move to New York City, and I'm gonna make this shit happen. It took a long time, but I was blessed enough to sign this nigga they called Jay-Z and Rock Nation. So, right now, I need everybody to throw their motherfucking diamonds in the sky. Everybody in this bitch, throw their diamonds in the sky. I feel like we deserve that shit. Why is this area no diamonds up in this area, right? <laughs> it ain't that many of us. Come on, throw them shits up, let's go. Yo, it's the Pulse of Power 98.3, where hip hop lives. My name is Yaya Martinez, and I have the gentleman of the freaking year in the building right now with me. And he goes by the name of Jay Cole. What up? What up? What's going on? It's been a minute. I know, man. And like our last interview was last year around the time that um the Blueprint 3 dropped. And it was the first time we actually had a real conversation about your goals and everything that you wanted to accomplish within the year. Um that was huge news on its own for yeah. everybody because at the time you were really antsy about announcing the fact that you were even on it. Yeah. You killed it. You know, Thank and you pretty much have killed every single that you've dropped. And a lot of people hate on me because I'm like a huge J. Cole fan. I'll admit oh, it. Man. They're like, oh, you're, you're, you're doing a little too much for him. And I'm like, come on. See, you hear it from the kid right there. Stop <laughs> hating. So, um, the album is all produced, fully produced by No ID, correct? No, me and No ID. But No ID got, um, she got like three, possible four. Right. But really, um, I feel like if I ain't going with no ID, then the album probably wouldn't sound as good as it sounded because my beats got better mm -hmm. after I left, you know, after I left working with him. Like right. I took a lot of 
production knowledge. I heard you talking about that with some text, like you kind of yeah. stuffed your game up a little bit exactly. whenever it came to production. Absolutely. Uh, little people that are wondering, what do you use in the studio? Uh, now, I, I'm, I changed, man. I started out on the ASR when I was 15, when I was about 21 or 20. Rather, I changed to Reason because I like using the keyboard and mm -hmm. now I'm, I'm straight Logic. I use Logic right now, but right. I'm liable to change whenever, you know. All right, right. So the album's coming out. Yeah. Are you going to give me the exclusive and give me the name of the album? Ooh, girl, look. <laughs> okay, if you're not going to give me the name of the album, am I going to probably get a preview a little bit later? Yeah. I yeah? Give you a preview, yeah? Oh, wow. I am a lucky woman right now. I you don't understand. Me. I know that uh, Semtex, I emailed him back and forth and he straight up told me, he's like, this is... College dropout meets Illmatic, and I told him I hate you right now because you got to hear that. I'm gonna so play you. I'm gonna play you a lot. You, on, got, some, you got some bad issues? All right, yeah. Yeah, no, we'll we'll get to that a little bit yeah. later after sound check and everything. But um, right. so who else we got features? Are we gonna have big features on the album? Nah, we. You know what? I'm not gonna. Anything is possible. Like I know people are running with man. J Cole said no features. That's great. You know, and <laughs> it is great. Right. But really, what I mean is like, even if I have somebody other than Jay. Which right now I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, you know, that I have anybody in mind. Right. But I'm not counting anything out. I'm just saying you're not gonna look at my track list and see, you know. How about you just do the album, not even put the feature names on there? Oh, you already yeah, yeah that's what's up. Cause I'm no, I'm just saying. No, because no, no, like, no, no. That was my, you know, that's my whole mo little thing. Anyway, mm -hmm. like I don't want to broadcast. You know, I wanted to kind of be a little surprised if I was to go that route anyway. Right. But in the long run, features don't even matter. Like mm -hmm. they don't. Like you can go get somebody that's hot right now. It ma it matters. I feel like they do do a good job of like breaking up the monotony of like you know an album or whatever. But me personally, I just I feel like I got a lot of things to say. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And Are if I got a feature, it would be purely for the voice. Like oh, man, I would love to hear such and such a voice right so now. So I have a question: Why Jay? Why Rock Nation? Why why were you so adamant about getting signed with them as opposed to like a different label or um, more underground type of label? I wasn't adamant. Like that's just what happened. That was like the natural flow. of how I got signed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there were some other people interested around that time, but it was nobody like, you know, close to where that level. It's not like Def Jam was knocking on my 